Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the 0x873 CFB Microsoft Store Windows 11 error. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Store apps troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot section and click on it. Now select other troubleshooters and then scroll way down until you find the Windows Store apps troubleshooter and click on the run button next to it. Windows will now try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Another useful solution is to sign out and back into the Microsoft Store. So to do this press the Windows button then simply type store and select Microsoft Store from the search result. In here on the top right corner you'll have a profile picture so click on it and you'll see that you have an option to sign out. So after you sign out make sure to click again on sign in, input your credentials and then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to clear the MS Store cache. To do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window make sure to type in the following command WS reset. After you inputted this command and you pressed enter you'll see that it will take a bit of time until the MS Store cache will be cleared. Afterwards you can restart the store app and check if the issue is solved. You can also repair the Microsoft Store app. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on apps and features. Now in here under the app list category you have a search box so click on it and simply type store and locate the Microsoft Store app in the search results. Now click on the ellipsis next to it and select the advanced options. In the advanced options window just scroll down until you find the reset section and you can start by pressing on the repair button. In this case the app's data won't be affected at all. But if this step doesn't prove too useful you can also reset the application. In this case the app's data will be deleted and everything will return to the default state. You can then close the Windows settings then you can check if the issue has been solved. You can also run a system file checker scan. To do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window make sure to type the following commands but press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time so don't lose patience. Afterwards just restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to reinstall Microsoft Store. To do this right click on the Windows button then select Windows Terminal as an administrator. Now in the Windows Terminal or PowerShell make sure to copy paste the following command from the description below and then press enter after this command. This will ensure to uninstall Microsoft Store and afterwards if you want to reinstall it make sure to input the next command that you will find in the description below. Now this command will reinstall Microsoft Store and then you can restart your computer and check if the issues still persist. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.